Mobile communication is, go is going to be key. Without um, high performant, performance mobile communication, there won't be any autonomous driving. Although the car has its own intelligence um, in the vehicle itself and is self-sufficient, self-contained, you still need online connections where you transfer data in both directions, bidirectional, uh, the whole time, in, in, in very high um, data loads. So, so we need a new infrastructure. The one of today will not be sufficient. We all know that. That's why 5G is such a very, very important and relevant technology to make autonomous driving um, happen. The automotive industry is undergoing significant change and challenge. What's your view on that? I mean, in a nutshell, the biggest change is for more than 100 years, we have built automobiles, vehicles based on physics, right? Products on the street you can touch. And now we're adding a completely new element, which is information technology. So software is becoming a part of the vehicle and a, a part of the user experience. Well, if software is such an important part of the vehicle, the perception of the driver, well, or the owner of the vehicle will change. What is the path into the future in your view? I mean, if you look at our old term called Fahrvergnügen, the joy of, of riding a vehicle, that has always been a physical experience. You, you touch the product, you feel it, you drive with it, you have a feeling of acceleration, and that's how um, our customers define the experience. That will change. We'll have a new element added, added to it, which is called user experience. The whole thing around the vehicle, how you interact with the vehicle, how you operate the vehicle, also in a digital world, um, apps suddenly become important to manage the car, to, to make um, appointments at a dealership. So that's a complete new level of experience, which is called digital Fahrvergnügen, probably. Basically, through software components, the future car will become more and more personalized. The whole value chain has therefore to be adapted. So IT will completely change its role. It will become a main driver. And in your view, how far will this go? I would say, I would even go further, it has already changed dramatically. I mean, um, if, if you look at the cars um, hitting the market right now, and, and, and our fleet, the new electric fleet coming to the market, um, the physical product is already partially, um, um, I would say, cyber, cyberized, where software defines part of the vehicle functionality. And also around the vehicle, I mean, um, interaction with the end consumer is not only you hit a pedal and you accelerate, you, you manage the vehicle with software, right? And, uh, and on, you have apps that do a lot of stuff um, offloaded on your mobile phone with your vehicle. And um, so already um, IT has become um, an integral, integral part uh, of the product itself. But even more so, it's, it's also between the product and the end consumer, the communication. And it's also about um, um, sending this vehicle into the market for operations, dealerships, and uh, service and maintenance. All of that is more IT-based than ever before. But if there's so much software-driven functionality coming to the vehicle, will that be safe? I mean, security is one of the biggest issues that we're facing. Security and privacy, by the way. If you look at security, um, cybersecurity um, is what we call uh, is, um, security by design. It's built has to be built in. Um, you have to upgrade your product over time, like a smartphone with patches, but it has to be in the, enter the market, the cars enter the market with the highest potential security. As we IT people all know, they will never be 100% security. But um, it's always a race to make sure that we provide the highest security. So it's a very big issue and, and also a concern that we take serious. I think that the role of partnerships and platforms will become even more important because of the effects of digitization and the increase of software elements in the vehicle, at least relatively. Do you see a stronger role for partnerships? I mean, there are probably two aspects to it. First of all, the answer is yes. Um, one aspect is that um, you need an ecosystem of partners uh, who focus on their core strength. For example, telecommunication, telco, mobile communications. Um, uh, is, is one, one, one strong area that we need to be successful. So that's why we need strong partners. On the IT side, I mean, um, we in the past we have outsourced a lot of our tasks. So even that we are insourcing, let's say up to 20% of our software development, it also means 80% is still uh, with our partners. And we need global partners who are able to help us not only in a German market, European market, but on a global market. So the partners will change. So today you find a lot of um, um, small partners that are very, very specialized in, in, in some areas. 
Probably the future will be fewer partners, but global ones, who can help us to grow around the globe and who understand our needs and who can scale uh, the way we need to scale our business. And that's a totally different dimension if you look at the partnership um, uh, tomorrow in the future.